Yeah, we're just down by the Brisbane River here. Alex and myself often meet here uh, when time permits in, in our busy lives and, and just to have a trundle, just to chat about anything in particular. Never necessarily anything too, too serious. Sometimes it is, that I think Alex knows that if he wanted to, he could bring it up, but just to get out, get some sun, chat about the NBA, chat about life, chat about footy, friends, all that stuff. Just to be a friend and, and support, yeah. Last few weeks, eh? Yeah. It's exciting. One exam. One exam, is that it? Any assessment? Uh, I finished one today. Ping pong? Religion. Oh, religion, nice. Is that the um, ethics unit? I think I taught that once. That's the reflection one. And then I got English next week. What's the English? Uh, Red Dog. The movie? Yeah. Did you actually watch it? Uh, I, watched, I watched the wrong one. What? I watched Red Dog True Blue. I find him quite, quite calm um, and, and reserved at times. I think that determination that he showed as an athlete, he's sort of showing every day. I made ribs, pork belly, Ooh. crackling, but it didn't crackle. Tasted right though. Once you cut away the charcoal bottom, you're gonna need to push up this hill or what? Oh yeah, you got it. Just get a bit of, get a bit of speed up first, please, man. Speed boost. I've been in the gym recently. Are you sure about that? Hello. Hello. Oh, look out, superstar. He's quite determined and he doesn't want that special, special treatment. He wants, wants to get by. I'd say he's doing really, really well. You know, we just sort of do what any regular 18-year-old boy does, I guess. Like, I'm sure most of us just spend a lot of time on phones or playing games or, yeah, just regular kid stuff. I think he's just sort of really happy in himself now. And he's had some really great people around him, obviously. Good friends, you know, the teachers, and some really great carers, support workers. I like to call us more friends, though. <laughs> He's a lot of fun to be around um, and I enjoy it. At the same time, he's doing really well in school, so um, I think everything helps, you know, the environment, who you're spending your time with. It's been a really great year so far with him. The draft is due next Friday. You need to give some sort of appraisal on your inquiry process. Hey Alex is now in year 12, which is an amazing thing, only a few weeks, he, he won't be with us. Okay, is there any there that you're having trouble with? Uh, maybe just the last one. I think he's stronger now. I think he's got funnier at times, you know. Like, to me, a lot before that, I didn't, you know, he probably wouldn't think Alex was funny, but yeah. I, I think he's brought on that upon himself, and that's one way for him to deal with it. Well, you know, I'll, I'll happy to give somebody a go or be cheeky, and well, that's working for me, and then it creates a smile with everybody else because he's got a beautiful smile. Now he's gonna go in. We start now. We start now. Oh, I'm not starting now, like right now. People will go out of their way to be a part of his life and to be with him because there's just no negativity that you get from him. He's just a good person to be around. Bro, you change the score every time. <laughs> He's got a fantastic group of, of peers, a wonderful group of teachers, teacher aides. He's everybody's brother. The family's there, the carers, they're also intricate parts of his life now. Yeah, he's doing well. Alex is doing very well. Um, he does everything an everyday boy does. The struggles will come after he leaves school, like maybe not seeing his mates as much, but he's got us and um, yeah, he'll know he has like brothers for life. I mean, the motto, like after he went through his injury, like 10,000 brothers, like he just has to know that there's, there'll be a lot of people here for him. He lives, basically lives a normal life every day. Like people might think it's very challenging for him, but for him, nah, he has a great time every day. He's very relaxed, um, he's easy going. I'm not wearing a bow tie, mate. Turn me. Tell me. Yeah. Well, surely not. You know. I mean, why <laughs> not? <laughs> is, is there a problem? Well, you and Rob Martin. Probably a bit more to himself at times, but um, no, I think he's just the same at the end of the day. He's still got that smile. Still got the smart ass, bloody wise cracking jokes. I've known him since he was probably 10 years old. Uh, he used to hang out a lot at our house. Beautiful big smile, uh, cheeky, used to like to joke around. Just a lovely, lovely guy. I was really happy when my son brought him home and said he was one of his friends because I thought, yeah, that's, that's a good friend to have. I met Clarkie back in 2014. 
uh, in grade five. Um, he's always been pretty cheeky. Um, he's always been a pretty quiet guy though. Very shy at first and then once you get to know him, he comes out of his shell a bit, I guess. Very sporting. Um, pretty good at school. Um, had the sideshow Bob haircut. If you've seen that, if you, if you've seen the photos. Mr. Todd forever was chasing him to get his hair cut. And, which he couldn't because of custom. Very, very keen on sport and had just great natural athletic ability. I mean, he worked hard, but very, very, very quick. Um, good skills in soccer, really good skills in rugby. Um, it came naturally to him and he thoroughly enjoyed playing all of those sports as far as I know. He'd give anything a go and that was probably what Byron enjoyed, so he was probably attracted to that as well. I think he was naughty, but in, in a good naughty. You know, we never, we never had to correct him or anything like that, but I think he, he didn't mind a bit of mischief. We were playing Ipswich. I was playing outside the centre. I, I just remember that, that um, I got the ball and I was running and I tipped it and then the ball ended up going to Clarkie's, Clarkie's hand. And Alex got the ball out wide down the right wing. Took off with probably 20 or 30 out very quick, um, just heading straight for the corner. Um, and he was, cover tackles were coming across the ground from the goal posts. And Alex got over the line and I felt that when he got over, he sort of got in an awkward position where he was almost seated when he got the ball down, but he had swung himself through 90 degrees, was actually facing the goals. Well, in that moment, there was like the Ipswich boys that was on top of him. It just looked like a normal try. And then um, I, I, and then all of a sudden I heard Clarky was on the ground. But then I was like, oh, Clarky will get up. Clarky always does. Um, I didn't actually see the tackle that caused the accident. I had my back to the game at, at, at that stage. But you just sort of heard the, you know, a gasp from the crowd and a silence from the crowd. And, um, sorry. The ref pulled it up pretty quickly. Uh, first day got there really quickly. The first responders were really, really good. It was pretty clear at that point that he was not well, but we didn't know how bad. The initial diagnosis was nerve damage. So they, they didn't know necessarily exactly what we're in for, but it, it, we knew it was serious. At that point, it was clear that he was going to hospital. So I, I just said, look, I bought him, I suppose I'm his carer, so I'll go with him. Alex was talking, I could hear him, he wasn't talking to me, um, but calm. Got him into Lady Salento and literally we were swamped with medical specialists. He had probably a team of 15 or 20 people. He was clearly in really good hands. Well, I'd spoken to Paul a number of times, he was on the first flight out of uh, Moresby. I got, he got in on Sunday morning. I was away the day of the accident, flew back in that night or that morning. They actually just being there for him. From, from day one, I'm just being the father. At the end of the day, hmm. Yeah, sorry. I hadn't been told the severity of the injury at that particular time. And I think the surgeon was the one that delivered that news. The x-rays are not good and yeah, be prepared that this could be life changing. There was really a response in those early months for, for Alex to support and for boys to go and visit. There was a roster of boys going up, staff going up, making sure that the families were connected, that we were connected to the Clark family as well. Dave Cully put out a email to the whole school if they would like to make meals and go on a roster and things like that. And uh, I was flooded with emails. There were dads as well, not just mums. Every day, we had people dropping off meals at our house to take to the Clarks. He's got more determination than I have. First assessment was he was going to be there for 15 months. He was out in six. We'll work through to get you back to where you work. You focus on you getting better, we'll sort out the rest of it.
they've gone the wrong way. I know they're right. When Alex started, we were learning as we went. And there were a lot of things that we had to consider before he came back. Just being set up the way we're set up, it's been very good for him. There's just a can-do attitude, and, and that happens not only around Alex at times, it happens at other times and places around here at the college. We're well resourced, but we have people who have the real desire to do it. So yeah, we step in and make things happen when others perhaps wouldn't even think about it. It was all about just coming together and finding what, what can we do? What can we do straight away? This has happened, we're gonna support him, like whatever we've got to do. It was just whatever it takes. From the time he started here, that was straight into action. They included him in everything. If you had suggestions, Aaron not, he wouldn't procrastinate, he'd instigate and say, right, this is the way we will do it better this way. It's a school to thank. He's got people that care so much about him. From the teaching perspective, there's probably nothing that these people wouldn't do. They've made resources that are so accessible to him. Okay, go. Go and move on to the next one then. Yeah, so we're just going to take away. So you don't need to put that A there. Because it's not decreasing, that's why they go a perpetuity. I've worked in heaps of different spots and different places, but I've never seen such mateship and I, what we can do for you and we'll do it. We'll cut the red tape and we'll try our best. I just feel total inspiration for the people that have cared and looked after Alex, because I said without them, it'd be a different story in my book. Great support from Nudgy. That's not just the kids, the, the, his close, close circle of friends. It's been great. Look at that blue for Alex. There's 1,500 people there. They've fit, initially, it was only going to be about 300 and just went through the roof. This thing here, um, 10,000 brothers, which is 10,000 families as well. And um, it's a very, it is a very close community. Yeah, that's, that's helped tremendously. More than any other, I've seen it more than anywhere else. How are you feeling? Good. It's absolutely wonderful to see you. Okay, keep your shoulder flat. Yeah. You're allowed to smile. No. <laughs> no. Smiling. My purpose is just to maintain Alex's therapy once he came um, back into the community or back into school. Increase and maintain his muscle mass and just keep Alex as sort of fit and healthy as possible. But also, um, obviously there's a few challenges that come from being in um, a wheelchair. So Alex does a lot of pushing, so we have to make sure that like he's strong through upper body, but also enough that he can do everything he needs to without getting tired all the time. And what did you think of the game? Is it right? Just a ride? Yeah, it's a good game. Most of the time, a lot of therapy like this is ongoing. So we'll try and taper, but unless Alex has the tools to manage it properly himself, and that probably won't be for a little while still, um, we're always going to kind of be around. Oh, how did you boys get Hey, miss. Hey, hey, hey. Did you bring me chocolates? Yeah, I did. Yeah, Last day. Nice. Hey, miss, can you sign my shirt, please? Yeah. Ten. Oh, it's not mine first. Yeah. Well, I use his pen. Yeah, yeah. No, no, mine first. No, mine first. No, mine first. No, no, mine first. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Let's go without cut. Leave me, leave me. On the count of three, say Miss B. One, two, three. Miss B. Okay, I need you all squashing in and pretending you like each other. I mean, his, his journey so far, you can see his strength growing, physically and in himself. You can see that he's really growing up. He's a young man now, in every sense of the word. I think when he leaves here, he's not gonna be too far away from Nudgy. Physically, maybe, but I don't think he's gonna lose this place. He can access things, you know, in a way that's comparable. It's not the same, but in a way that's comparable to all his peers. So if at some point in time he wants to go to uni, I think he's very capable of that. He has proved in the last three years he's actually quite capable. And perhaps maybe even has shown more diligence in his studies that he did prior to his injury. Thank you, Mr. Good. Good. Yeah. Mate, how you been? Good. Been good. How's you feeling, Chuck? Yeah, it was quite sad. If you've got a love for life, anything's possible. He's got a great family around him. He's had great support from Nudgy um, through the last few years, and I think it's put him in good stead you know, to continue in life and whatever that his passions are. He can be anyone he wants. He can 
be as independent as he wants to be. And I think he just needs to adapt to how it's going to work for him. The boys will go on their own journeys and that's clear, but we hope um, they've got the, the brotherhood to understand that, you know, he's very much an important part of their lives. They have shared an experience which is unique. And so they have a sense of, of connectedness that they will keep returning to and to make sure that the support that's been able to provide to Alex and Alex to them too, is able to continue in some shape or form. See you, see ya. See you, sir. <laughs> you have to make sure you clean your teeth tonight. Yeah, huh? well. Okay, all right. See you, sir. Good man, hey. Proud of you. Yeah, you too. Keep going, mate. See you, miss. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. He's going to miss Nudgy, and Nudgy's going to miss Alex for sure. So we need to bridge that gap as, as best we can. So it's about helping him to remain connected without being present here, here every day. Alex has got some smarts in there, academic, but also people smart. So I, I, I think he's going to work it out pretty well. He's got a plan in there, but he's like every teenage boy. There'll be a few days where it's going to be a bit tough and a few days where uh, it'll be really exciting. Lucky. See you soon. See you, brother. I'll see you soon. All the best. Yeah. Congratulations. See you soon. That's great. Right. Sweetie. Mwah. Hold on. Oh, See you, Cheers. From day one, I said some things to him that will always happen. He'll he'll walk again. That's it's just a given. We'll take this thing off when that happens. So there's so many advances in medicine. And maybe it's a matter of not if, it's just a matter of when. That's the sort of mini game plan. Is everything cool? Yeah, everything's good. Yeah, everything's good. Nothing, nothing to worry about. If there's any worries, I just let my mates know, or family. I just try to be me and not try to cause too much attention to myself. How do you want to be remembered? Um, that I touch people in ways like I'm an inspiration to them and probably just probably just like a cheeky smile that everyone will remember by. Drop me a steer. I got it. You just stop over this thing, mate, so it ain't crash. Oh, I'm not, I'm, I'm not never crash. Oh, 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 you're kidding yourself. Did you live in that one of those apartments, right? Yeah, the, the coloured one. Reckon I beat you an Xbox up there too. You've never beaten me. <laughs> in your life. Never will.